Hello YouTube, it's me, Video Gamer, and today I'm going to be drawing a Shy Guy and a Toad, both in the same drawing. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out just yet, but to kick off the drawing, I'm going to start off with the Shy Guy. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do first is I want a sketch line outline for both of the characters, so I'm just going to get that down first. I'm not sure exactly how Toad's going to look. But uh, we're going to work on Shy Guy first. So first, we're going to draw Shy Guy's big mask, which takes up uh, the entirety of his face and is just really big overall. Just sketched in a nice circle right there. We're drawing his eye. Eyes. Two of them, of course. Sort of want to make them closer together. Add in that. And we're going to draw his hat, his hat, I guess, coming around. Maybe I want it slanted down a bit more. Then his body doesn't come much further than his actual mask itself. So we've got to build him as such. There's his belt. Gotta step back a bit. And his body comes around just like this. And his belt is just below his mask a bit. Right now he kind of looks like some crazy guy in a straitjacket. But we're going to fix that. Bring his arm coming around the front of it. And I think this is just going to turn out to be a very awkward confrontation between Toad and and this shy guy. I mean, this is something that I can't even recall in the Mario series ever happening when a shy guy and a toad are both in the same place. So, awkward. And now you sort of want to work on the outline a bit more, just to get things ready for the sharpie. There's only so much we can clean up at the moment, but you definitely want to make sure you've got all your lines ready for the outline. You know, while I was looking online for pictures to uh, draw of Shy Guy, I actually found this one comic strip that was kind of sad. Uh, Toad had just given Toadette like a card with a heart on it, I guess it was Valentine's Day or whatever. and off to the side there was a shy guy and he was also holding a card and a flower and he just looked crushed i know you can't get much emotion out of these guys because of their faces but if you saw the comic you understood what just happened and it was it was really sad so i don't know awkward now that we've finished basically drawing uh, this shy guy now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a sharpie an ultra fine point sharpie to be exact and We're going to basically outline the entirety of all the lines that we want to keep on shy guy And now that we've got him outlined we can take an eraser and get rid of all the pencil Line underneath our drawing see how much this cleans it up all right, and now for the last part of the inking on Shy Guy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, fine point Sharpie and we're just going to fill in his eyes. Now one thing I sort of overlooked was that Shy Guy has a little bit of dimension to his mask. So we gotta add that in around the eyes. Just like that. 
just by adding in another line. And that makes it look like the mask sort of has a dimension to it. So now we're gonna draw Toad looking right back at Shy Guy. Um, and he's also gonna sort of have the, well, he's, that'd be strange if he had the same expression, but uh, we're just gonna make him just as confused. Okay, so we're gonna start on Toad's face first. Just as a circle, I guess. I'm trying to decide how I want Toad to be in relation to this shy guy. His face probably needs to be bigger. About like that, I'd say. Should probably be slightly taller. Maybe. <laughs> it's such a hard thing to decide where you want your characters to be. I think Toad just looks a little... Well, let's see what he looks like with his hat on. As you can see there, I just drew his entire body. But we really need to work on the face a lot more. Line off where we want the hat to stop. Drawn Toad's two eyes. He's just gonna basically have the same face, just to make it sort of funny. Those are just glares right now. They look kind of weird, but they'll look better when I get done with it. Just to show you guys what that would look like. So for the rest of the body, Basically, we just want to work on getting the rough features down. Just like his arm right there. Just gonna have his other arm on the side. You won't be able to see it too much. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing that we did with Shy Guy and finish up all our lines on Toad in preparation for it. The Sharpie. You want to add the gold trim to Toad's coat as well, just by adding on another outline of his coat. Toad has a somewhat detailed hand here, so we're just going to draw that in real quick. Pretty much his hand's just going to be off to his side, so we don't have to do anything too complicated. And I sort of want his shoes off to the side a bit more. Like this shoe over here, because he seems off balance a bit. Alright, and that looks pretty good for Toad. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the Sharpie outline right now. It's basically the same process for the Shy Guy. Alright, now once again, take the eraser. And let's get rid of all this pencil. Because we don't really need it anymore. And now I'm going to draw in the highlight in Toad's eyes. First off, I sort of need to think about where the lighting is going to be that's causing the highlight on his eyes. I sort of want it to be uh, just above them, so the highlight's sort of going to be towards the top. Like that. And now you can just take your fine point and fill in that space in between. So you've got Toad and Shy Guy here, just like, they don't know what to think of each other because they probably haven't ever seen each other, but, well, they probably have, but they haven't just stared at each other before, so... I think it's time to color them. So, now I'm going to begin coloring these two awesome and strange yet cool characters. Um, first off in coloring, I'm going to lay down a base coat color of all the colors on these characters. Starting off with the red, really, because that's the most. Just basically color lightly with whatever color you're going to use across the entirety of your character. In those spots where it has that color, of course.
basically we're going to do this for all the colors on our characters. Alright, so now in starting the shading, uh, like I said, I wanted my light source to be above them and sort of in the middle. So that means all the shadows are going to come down and they're going to be towards the uh, opposite sides of the characters. Like on Shy Guy, it's going to be bottom right, and on Toad, it's going to be bottom left. You'll see what I mean as we work. On Toad, for his circles, you just want to add a little bit of dimension to them. On Shy Guy, we got a lot of shading to do. And if you don't realize why I'm doing all this different uh, shading and stuff on Shy Guy's clothing, it might do you some good to look up a few pictures of Shy Guy on Google, just to better understand how the shading works on the character. We're going to continue on and do the same for the rest of the character's colors. The shading on the shoes needs to be sort of rounded just because of how the shoes are shaped and their texture is pretty smooth. So, And now for toad skin, we're going to use brown to shade. And then for the white colors on these characters, I'm going to use a cool gray for the shading on it. Notice how I keep the shading going on across uh, Toad's hat over the circle here. Same for Shy Guy. Just add a little bit to his mask, not a whole bunch. Alright, and now just to finish this up, we're going to even out the colors by adding in another round with the base coat color. You can leave in a little bit of highlights, just depending on how dark you want to make this. Now, just to sort of help uh, emphasize the awkwardness of this drawing, I'm going to draw a bubble right in between them. just sort of another object sort of make it look like a comic type thing just draw the bubble around we're going to erase some of the lines in here sort of clear it up beforehand and now we're going to put Three dots inside of it. Awkward. Outline it with Sharpie, just to make it match. See, I kind of messed up just now because I didn't wait for the Sharpie that I just put on to dry all the way. So I sort of streaked it off a bit, but it looks okay still, so we're good. And now, just to sort of help that stand out a bit more, I'm going to add some shading to the bubble itself. Seems like overkill, but it's just those subtle things that help out. And for background, I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to add in some colors that accentuate these two characters. Well, I hope you guys liked this uh, drawing of Toad and Shy Guy. Um, this wasn't on the original Set 7 list, but I had very limited time this weekend, so I just had to draw something real quick, and I chose to draw Shy Guy and Toad. So I'm going to be replacing my Bowser with Bowser Jr. Uh, pick with this instead. 
This was just much easier. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe it'll appear in the later on series of how to draw video game characters. But aside from that, I hope you guys liked my drawing of awkwardness. You guys should subscribe if you like the drawing, because I plan on doing more drawings of video game characters just like these, other sorts of video game characters. And one thing you might also want to know is that I take requests. Um, go to my channel, go down to the moderators module, and just type in your request right there with a picture link and any other details you'd like me to include. So, um, that wraps up this episode of How to Draw Video Game Characters. Check out some of my other drawings and videos, and until next time, keep on drawing.